Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Amy again with Bargain Mama and today is Friday and yeah, I'm making this video on a Friday because I am running behind. So as you all know, Amy um, with Bella's Bargains and I went shopping at the Dollar Tree Plus store um, think last week and so we also did a challenge to ourselves that involved doing a meal for five dollars or less and so when we did that we totally spaced the fact that the store we went to had no cold section so that kind of screwed us a little but we decided we were still going to run with that mm -hmm. so we I do not know what she made and she does not know what I made and we are going to release our videos at the same exact time and she has an amazing intro because we both made an intro together and mine got erased so if you want to see our fun intro head over to her channel which I will link below but if you just want to see the boring one like this one well then keep watching this video but anyways so again I have no idea what she made or picked up with for her five items and she does not know what I picked up with my five items and she picked hers up extremely fast and I well, let's just say that she went down three more aisles and continued to shop while I was still trying to figure out what I was going to make. So I have no idea how this is going to turn out. We did decide spices and like oil, if you needed it or whatever, were not part of the $5. So I think, so I'm a huge, huge burrito person. I absolutely love bur burritos. And so after I had 10 million ideas in my head, I opted with burritos. So with that being said, so I'm like a little midget right now because like I have to have my camera facing down here and I'm trying to get this video done. So what I'm going to make is like a Spanish rice burrito with luncheon loaf. I've never had it. I don't even know what it is. So it's pork, pork I can't even, I'm not going to read all that because it looks disgusting. It says pork plasma, pork rind, starch, pork fat, salt. Ugh. Anyways, it's a product of Denmark and it's seven ounces and it's by Celebrity. I have no idea, but I wanted like a meat in there to make it like a little bit more, I guess, of a substantial meal. I don't know. We'll see. So this is $1. I picked up a thing of tortillas, obviously, because that's what I need for my burrito. So that's $2. To make Spanish rice, you need a thing of tomato sauce. So that's $3. Obviously, to make Spanish rice, you need rice, so that's $4. And here comes the kicker. I, for the life of me, could not find chicken broth. So guys, we're gonna try it. It's chicken gravy. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Um, I thought, well, it'll make it thicker and more, I guess, substantial. So I have no idea how it's going to turn out. So those are my five items. The chicken broth, the rice, the canned lunch meat, the tortillas, and the tomato sauce. And I am going to make like a full meal out of this. And let me tell you, if it works out, this is, this is the thing for you guys. So and now... I am just going to get mine started here. So now I'm, you're just gonna kind of see me, I guess. So right here, I am going to, so I'm going to brown, thank goodness for gas stove, let me just say that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make Spanish rice. So, here is the rice or the butter so I can let that melt for a minute. I don't even know how you open this thing. So I, I am going to open this and then I'm going to also place some butter in here, cut this up, keep it up and kind of fry it a little to give it a little bit of seasoning. And I'm going to brown up my rice and I'll be right back to show you guys. Okay, so over here, we have our butter is melted and we have our one cup of the rice and let me just tell you that there's a lot left over of the bag of rice so we have one cup of rice right here and we have one teaspoon sorry i was starting so we have one teaspoon of ground cumin 
And then we have a half a teaspoon of chili powder, a half of a teaspoon of onion powder, and then I did just put a very small amount of salt in, and the only reason I did put a whole lot of salt in is because we have this little contraption over here. Uh, this is the, I guess my husband put Spam in here, and I figured that this is going to be extremely salty in our burritos, and so I did not put very much salt in there. So I am just like cut this up into small pieces, very small pieces. I did not try it. And I am just cooking it in butter and like browning it. And then right here, I am still browning my rice. So you wanna brown your rice for like one to three minutes until well, it's brown. And it'll almost, sometimes for me, it starts almost popping like popcorn, which is kind of funny to me. And then, and you want to make sure that you have one with a lid because obviously it's going to need to absorb the liquids and stuff. So now I've moved over to this side, guys. So, that just smells kind of good in here, but I'm going to be honest. I don't have any idea how it's going to taste. So I'm turning this off for right now because it looks like it's done. I'm pretty sure it was already cooked before it was put in there. So I am just going to stir this for a little while longer. Let me show you what it looks like. Mmm, this is our white rice with all of our seasonings in it. Looks great. So now I'm going to open my can of, we'll see how it goes, chicken gravy and our tomato sauce. And um, so let me open them and I will be right back again. Okay, so I just want to point out, I just set off the smoke detector. So if it goes off again, we're gonna have to shut the video off real quick. So anyways, you want about two cans of chicken broth, which is chicken gravy and our, oh, it's gonna go off again for sure. I turned the heat down on it though, but it's definitely gonna go down, go off again. That's why I've never cooked for you guys on film. So here we go. We have that in there. And then you want about, eight ounces of tomato sauce. That time was 15 ounces, so I didn't use the whole thing. I'm probably the, not the only person, but I might be one of the only people that admit it. Like, I try to cook everything on almost like the highest heat possible so it gets done faster. Probably shouldn't do that, but sometimes, like, yeah, you just don't want to be sitting there all day. Anyways, so we're going to bring this back to a boil. And now, for this, I'm actually going to add in my meat now so that it's already in there. Yeah, I've never made this in a million years. That's not going to go in. I was going to put that in my kitchen sink, but it's probably not a good idea because it's still hot. So we will never have a series on cooking with Amy. I promise you that. Baking, that's my thing. Cooking, mm-mm. No, I do it, but I'm not like the greatest at it. So, it's definitely already back to a boil because we all saw how hot it was. So now let me run and get my lid. Let's see what pan. Is this the one? I should have already had my lid. Okay, so we're going to turn it down. And we're just going to let it simmer for like 20 minutes. So when it's done, lunch is done. Yay, we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So one of the other great things about having a gas stove, this is my favorite because I love, like I will eat a tortilla and some butter all day long. So my stomach is very queasy today, like very, very queasy. So my husband is hiding back there and he's actually going to try it. I'm gonna try a little bite, but I'm not gonna make myself a burrito. That would be a waste. Like I said, my stomach is just not feeling well today. And so, so we let this, yeah, we'll just put it right here. We let this go for about 23 minutes now. Just so you know, I did add, um, so I did end up adding a, um, a little bit of water because what I should have done, because again, I'm not the greatest cook in the world. I'm a good baker, but not cook, is if I couldn't find the chicken stock, I should have put half of the gravy and half water. So one, so it should have had two cups 
of chicken chicken broth. I should have done one cup of water and one cup of the chicken gravy because it's so thick. So that was my fault, but I ended up kind of fixing it a little, I guess. So now I am just going to make my husband a small burrito because oh, I'm gonna be honest, he may not like it very much. So I will eat anything that comes in burrito form. Just like I will buy anything that says it's on clearance. I will eat anything that says it's a burrito. Like, I just love burritos. And so this is obviously going to be very messy. It's not looking good down here, guys. And yeah. <sighs> Hold on, I'm trying to just to make the burrito. So let me get myself a little utensil here. And then you, so remember it's gonna be hot, babe. So I'll like blow on mine for a minute. Did I turn it off? Yeah. And then like you blow on yours and then, cause it's very, very hot. Don't just bite into that. It's gonna burn your mouth. And I can't do screaming on the video. So we'll just both we'll take a bite at the same time. Um, like be nice about the reaction because remember the video camera's on. Oh, he just took a bite. I told you it was hot. It's not horrible. No. What do you think? I need some hot sauce. Yeah, I can assure you I'm not putting no hot sauce tonight. But besides that, like, how is the flavor? Because you're not supposed to put, like, sour cream, because I would put sour cream on my burrito. Like, we just want to try it with the ingredients that I use, and then you can put something on it later. It's not terrible. That's good. Does the rice taste burn? No. Because mm, if you can do this like this, I think the rice is burned. Mm. Well, don't burn the rice. I know, that's probably why the smoke detector went off. But, so, and my husband is not like a Mikey, like that will eat anything. No. So, he's told me before, like, he's taken, like, the meat that I seasoned before, put it into a strainer, and ran it under water. Uh, because you put a pound of salt on it. So... Don't think he's just being nice because he, no, no, no. He's not mean, but he definitely tells me like, don't ever make that again. Like, excuse me, do you think that you would eat that for like a dinner one night or something? Mm. I just feel like it's not yeah. substantially, like I should put more meat in it or something to be a dinner, don't you? Like hamburger meat or something. But I mean, we're just going off of what we had from the Dollar Tree that day, but I think it'd be okay with like different yeah, meat. Does taste right. Okay, don't say it now. I should have shut the video off. That's why I shouldn't talk so much. I should have shut the video off while I was ahead. All right, guys. Well, that is my $5 meal. Don't burn the rice. Do not set the smoke detector off. Um, in other words, it, it's, it's not bad. I mean, I've never had canned meat in my life. I mean, I guess I've had canned chicken. Throw some hot sauce on there. Golden. He throws hot sauce and everything. But, so again, guys, it was... Um, the five ingredients I got from the Dollar Tree were rice, not minute rice, because you have to make Spanish rice, and you cannot make Spanish rice with minute rice. So I used rice, I used a can of the tomato sauce, I used a can of the chicken gravy because I couldn't find the broth, but remember, if you get the gravy, which it worked, but it would have been way better with half of a can of the gravy and one can of water so that it would have thinned out the gravy a little bit. Um, so it was, it was tortillas, it was rice, it was the tomato sauce, it was canned meats, and chicken gravy. So, I mean, it wasn't bad, and I'm telling you, my husband would not, mm -mm. and I didn't think it was bad, but I can definitely taste, like, the rice thing, but usually, I am pretty good with Spanish rice. So, I'm kind of sad, but anyways, guys, that's my meal, I think, and just so you know, I mean, like, it made a lot. So that will feed a good little sized family. So anyways, I hope that you guys are having a great day. Do not forget to go over to Amy at Bella's Bargains because I still have no idea what she made because we're uploading these videos at the same time. So I have no idea. I think, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think. I thought, like I tried to sneak and look in her cart and I'm pretty sure she made some kind of chili. That's what I think she made. But I don't know. So that's just my guess. What she made is chili. But I will link her below and go check out hers. 
she's a way better cook, so I'm sure her five ingredients are way better, but not too bad, right? So, all right, guys, I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!